day after Parliament convened in its ninth constitution, the Croatian Democratic Union had a working day yesterday, which they are continuing today. According to speculation, the party discussed personnel within the new government, which should be formed by Wednesday. It will have 19 ministries instead of the current 20, and the number of state offices has been increased from four to six. Instead of deputy ministers, they intend to introduce state secretaries. Prime Minister-designate Andrei Plenković would not provide details on who would be ministers in the new government, saying only that they are having working meetings and he would say more when the time comes. Vukovar and Croatia are remembering Major General Blago Zadro, a hero from the Trpinje Road in Vukovar, who died on this day 25 years ago. Under his leadership, the Trpinje Road was dubbed a tank graveyard, where the armed forces of the Yugoslav People's Army were halted and tens of Serbian tanks and transporters were destroyed. Blago Zadro will always be remembered as one of the true heroes of the homeland war. Stormy weather and heavy rainfall hit the Šibenik area yesterday. In only one hour, 1,500 lightning strikes were recorded, while in Vodice, 50 liters of rain fell per square meter. Several buildings were flooded. Due to frequent flooding over the past years, Vodice has begun improvement and reconstruction of their storm water drainage system. At St. Mark's Square in Zagreb, a changing of the guard was held today. Four historic Croatian military units took part, along with the cavalry and infantry of the Honor Company in the Kravat Regiment. The joint changing of the guard was held ahead of World Kravat Day, which will be marked on Tuesday and which Croatian Parliament proclaimed eight years ago. The changing of the guards and procession through the Zagreb city centre have been held since 2010. Under the auspices of the International Organization for Responsible Drivers and the European Youth Forum, the European Night Without Accidents was held last night. In Croatia, the drive was held in Zagreb, Varaždin, Osijek, Rijeka and Zadar. Young people between the ages of 18 and 26 took part in voluntary alcohol testing in front of nightclubs. The project was first conducted in Belgium in 1995 and has since been held all over Europe. The 81st Zagreb Golden Needle event was held yesterday, a traditional fashion event for Croatian artisans. At Croatian Television's Anton Marti studio, well-known designers, hairstylers, makeup artists, shoemakers, furriers, hat makers, jewelers and florists had their unique products displayed on a catwalk. The Golden Needle was held on the same day as in 1935, October 15th, with the event inspired by fashion events from the time in Vienna and Paris. In sports, Zagreb has yet to chalk up a win in Champions League handball. Last night, they suffered their fourth defeat in the competition, this time to Belarusian side Meshkov Brest by a score of 27 to 22. In the 12th round of play in the Croatian Football League, Lokomotiva defeated Istra in Zagreb by a score of 2 to 1 for their fourth win in the last five games, pushing them up to fifth place on the table. Inter defeated Cibalia in Zaprešić by a score of 1-0 and now sits in sixth place. In today's game, Zarijeka plays host to Osijek, while Hajduk plays host to city rivals Split. During the afternoon, partly to mainly sunny skies are expected on the coast, with partly sunny skies in most of the interior. Eastern regions will remain overcast in places, but mainly without precipitation. Winds will be slight. A light to moderate northwesterly wind will blow on the coast, turning to a boral wind on the northern coast and parts of the central coast near the end of the day. Seas will be slight to moderate with good visibility. During the afternoon, temperatures will mainly range from 14 to 18 in the interior and from 20 to 23 degrees on the coast. A break in precipitation is expected tomorrow, so that after morning fog, skies will be partly to mainly sunny and temperatures warm. As of Tuesday, changeable weather is expected with occasional rain and cooler temperatures. The coast will also see partly to mainly sunny skies tomorrow with light winds and pleasantly warm temperatures. As of Tuesday, weather will be changeable again with frequent rain and showers. A southerly wind is expected on Tuesday, which will increase in strength on Wednesday.